Hey guys, it's James here again. This may be what if Goku was born in Universe 6. We've seen this one, the places will be swapped. So, one one thing that will be swapped would be basically K Kale and Caulifa, and Goku and Broly. Broly's going to be put in Universe 7, not Universe 7, Broly's going to be put in Universe 6, so Goku, and Kale and Caulifa are going to be going to take their place. Well, Caulifa wouldn't be exiled to the fact that the king, the king would underestimate her to the fact that, that, that she's a girl. So yeah, that's like that seems like it would be a, it'd be a theme in the kingdom that seems like it's ran, like it seems like it seems like, it seems like it'd be a theme if it's like a kingdom that seems like it's like, it has technology that's in the future, but then it seems like it's far in the past at the same time, just just spiritual not spiritually and people people like, so I assume that's how the kingdom would be ran, so, so yeah, the, the king is honestly just gonna underestimate Ka Kale because of her gender. Caulifa would kind of be the same thing, but she's born with but with the average power levels like a pretty she's she's still lower class Saiyan, but her her, 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 her power level at birth is like eighty, so she's decent. But yeah, um, Caulifa just speed runs Dragon Ball up and Caulifa just speed runs Dragon Ball for a long time, and Kale actually actually was was on a mission with Vegeta due to her power level at birth being roughly around ten thousand. So, so she's exiled, but she's given a warning in high security. But yeah, so Khalifa, not Khalifa, Kale and Vegeta are, are are very close. Also, when he tries to like make her his woman, she beats him up. So, yep. Same thing for Nappa and Raditz; they, they get that same treatment. We we'll go on to when Kale and Khalifa are roughly on the Buu saga, and considering how not Buu saga, roughly around the Cell saga, probably even Cell saga. Probably around the right, around the, like like just end of of OG Dragon Ball and beginning of Z, is rough. Like during the age of Kale and Khalifa, or how the age they act, or just the age they would appear to be on considering how they talk to Goku and Vegeta, they must be in their twenties or third, like like early twenties, early mid twenties. So that that's how old Goku like they're like same age as Gohan is what I estimate. Like at the best, I'd put like Broly same age as Piccolo in this one. So in this one, Broly's gonna be a few years older. Like he'd be born, he'd be born the same time as Piccolo would be hatched. And then Goku's born the same time as Gohan. So with this, well, Goku and or six is given the name Son Goku. I'm just, I'm just some go Son Goku because it's simple. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to make his parents be Bardock and Gine because I assume they give, I assume that they conceive um other people because <laughs> they 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 conceive Khalifa. So Goku, 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 Goku's name is Son Goku. But yeah. So with this, um, Goku would basically just, well, we well, just wants to be strong and fights everyone that he can in Universe 6, and how he does it. If he fights, if fights, multiple, fights multiple Saiyan guards, as, even as a kid. And he's born relatively low class, but with how the Saiyans are, I assume there's like no low class system. So with Goku not really being tended to look into the low class, despite him being born a t a, t a, t a technical lower class. Well, uh, wait, pause. All right, so Goku technically be technically would be born a low class Saiyan, but he still goes around trying to pick fights. I know he can, and I don't know if the, I don't know if the, I don't know if Universe Six Sandwiches would get Zenkai's at all. Actually, I'm assuming they would possibly because they're saying like they don't have tails, but I assume they still get Zenkai's at least. So they do. He does get a few Zenkai's. Him actually beaten, being beaten half to death by annoyed guards or just annoyed citizens like that are still stronger than him. We can move on to roughly around the time that it'd be, it'd be on be on the Namek saga for most of the Z fighters in Universe Seven. Uh, currently for Goku, he's he's just a, just a typical five year old. Not typical. He he he, he learned how to use key because well, Khalifa's kind of cool. I guess I'm pretty sure it'd be her it'd be her brother. Well, this one Goku doesn't Goku doesn't have a brother, but it's a master. As this master did acknowledge that Goku had a prowess for like street fighting and martial arts. He began actually teaching Goku how to use well key and martial arts. He did suffer an injury when he was younger, and despite him being a rather young prodigy among the Saiyan soldiers, and even considered very cool by like not not cool but very strong by Frost, he actually did, actually did get hit by a stray attack from an ally that kind of permanently destroyed his leg. Not destroyed, but permanently made it hard for him for him, for him to move on and fight. So he did drop out, but actually trained a lot more Saiyans, but eventually he did quit the fact that he didn't really need to train anymore. So Goku would basically just train, just train with Khalifa's brother. Well, now, now no one's brother. But, uh, yeah.
All right, so um, Goku would basically train with this unknown master, and this unknown master will be given the, the name of. Find it real quick. His name is Ronsa. He basically got injured. Is he's like a retired team captain and trainer. Now he now, now, now he just trains Goku and Kaba, which is actually how Goku and Kaba meet. Kind of like have like a Krillin and, Krillin and Goku esque relationship. Yeah, they train together, and we move on to when Goku's roughly around 16. So basically around the time that original Dragon Ball would have ended in canon, but at this point when he's 17, it's been like 17 years towards like canon. At this point, at this point I'm liking the Boo saga for, for the Z Fighters. Like, there's been no adventure until he turned 17 where he became a proper soldier for the like the Saiyan for, like the Saiyan army. Because when he turned when he, he basically became a soldier for the Saiyan army, well, well, he he, he kind of got assigned to his first job of being a bodyguard for the for well another Saiyan by the name of Broly. This this Saiyan is actually well kind of an elite, and actually considered the son of the prince. The son of this prince, this, this king, not even having a son, so he's the son of the king. They call him son of the prince. He's he's, he's basically, basically basically the prince of all Saiyans. The prince he he kind of takes that title for Vegeta from not from not for from Vegeta. But yeah. So Goku basically will be assigned to guard Broly. So yeah. So he basically just goes around guarding Broly. And one day they are on a planet who are attacked by, by random guards. Goku Goku's at this point being taught by someone who can use key but also decently aged and kind of young. Instead of someone by the name not by the name, but someone says someone older Gohan. But he's taught by someone by someone that's actually able, like more but more like, like more physically physically fit and can keep up with Goku. He does not not keep up, but be even stronger. So yeah, so Goku is basically um by the time he's regarding Broly, he has a power of roughly how overpowered the universe six Saiyans were by by a start. I used to, I used to put Goku at roughly in the hundred like hundred millions already. It's not probably hundred millions, but roughly. Just roughly like like just a few, few ten million. I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like eighty million in base. He doesn't doesn't super saiyan or anything. She can just power power up going hundred million like by just like that. Yeah, so he he beats these I guess these hackers and he beats them all. At this point, it's like the whole planet attacking them. Actually, he he fought the king, won, and she managed to know why they're being attacked. So he says he says some guy named Frost hired us. Suddenly, Goku gets hit in the back by a really strong hit and he falls over unconscious. He looks at Broly being hit by the same attack too, being knocked out, but to see Broly almost killed. Goku go, 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 has to actually power up and get this boost. As he dashes forward full speed, actually, actually kind of just, just kind of just picks up and grabs this person and suplexes them. The person then says, "How'd you do that?" As he, then he looks saying, "You did it," seeing well a much younger hit, which I'm probably not much probably not much longer not much younger. Can't really tell how old he is. All he knows is a few thousand years old. But this hit, well, didn't expect someone strong kind of the Saiyans at this 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 young. So yeah. So just out of unexpectedness, he gets body slammed. So yeah. But um, we can move on to um. Yeah, we can move on to probably just uh. Well, we can move on to Goku versus Hit, but Hit beats Goku in, like, seconds, so it didn't really matter at all. But Hit, they didn't go really impressive, so Broly's powered up, getting enraged, because him and Goku recently became friends. So Broly basically just got all raised out, going to Legendary Super Saiyan form, actually surprising Hit, and actually breaking through Hit's time skip, and just punching Hit into the ground full force, almost knocking him out. But this is not time, time for Goku to actually get up and tell Broly they need to leave, and they go in the ship and they fly off. And Hit just realized he failed his first job from these two. Which does impress him thoroughly. Now the king does tell Goku, Goku that's all right that he failed, but with how close Broly came to almost dying or not dying but from being attacked by someone really strong. Wait, pause. Yeah, basically with the um. Yeah, but Broly may be strong, but this was something that this still cannot happen again. So so he we kind of kind of told Goku to go, just go off and train. And that she does lead to them bring the telling the telling the Goku had his plan called Namek. They should, they should be willing to teach him a few things there. So Goku is then well, given the coordinates to Namek, and he heads there with Broly. 
She probably wants to learn how to control that berserker thing. As he barely, he barely stopped controlling it only because, only because he like just grabbed and calmed down. But yeah, he wants to learn how to control it on his own as they had dynamic. They had dynamic for roughly around three years. At this point, Goku's now 20. Broly is roughly 28 or so. Not 28, 25. It's around there. And yeah, so dynamic for the aerodynamic for three years. Goku learned all their all their, te- all their te- techniques and even Super Saiyan. But Broly had just learned just learned listen to Super Saiyan. Not listen to Super Saiyan, but he learned Akari. This, this may be weird, but honestly, he just, he just calls it just primal saying the fact that the music just were reverting to a very barbaric state of power. But it's just an intense multiplier compared to Goku's to Goku's fifty times to fifty times multiplier of Super Saiyan. But yeah. So with this, um, well, Goku would basically just head play back planet Shadala, throwing off his new power, and then talking to Kaba. So yeah, so he meets he meets Kaba as master again after a long time, and she shows off Kaba to his Super Saiyan form. Kaba's impressed by this. Actually, actually, actually she wants to learn how to do it. So, with this, Goku and Broly, Goku, Broly, and Kaba became sparring partners. And, well, they trained together. And actually go on missions together as a squad, as Broly actually wanted to go on missions now. So, like, so these three are going to just one of the squad. that go about just basically destroying anyone in their path. It's basically just against Frost's orders. But now we move on a few, few years when Goku's around, like... Go on in around the Resurrection F saga is around twenty five years old, I think. Let me check. Oh, he's he's like twenty three. So yeah, let's run Goku go Goku Goku's now twenty three. No, well, not five years, it's been three years. So this is this is basically just I guess expert squad. Well, now we're at this point. Well they, Goku Goku kinda be in doing doing some doing some I guess some peeping on, on Frost, because there's a legend they have he has extra forms. As he actually was spying on one of his guards, and Frost, Frost guard was like, "Oh yeah, he has like these forms," and this, he thought it was just like like a myth. So he being on Frost, so he saw Frost using these forms. And Goku, Goku, Goku learned how to sense key from the Mechians, and actually learned how to sense just multipliers. He saw Frost Frost on the swarm team, and he kind of broke down the gate once Frost went back to his went back to his base form. Actually, Frost, why he's doing it, why, why he's hiding this, this secret. For, with these forms, Frost doesn't need any any soldiers. He can just tell everything himself. Frost ends up selling for actually revealing its true motive, saying, hmm. What are you monkeys? Sort thought it was a good idea to spy on me, huh? Before he fired, he blessed Goku using his soul power. Goku never had a way to the way and kind of rushed at Frost, but ended up missing his punch and just getting punched in the face. But he keeps trying to fight Frost, and Frost and says, Well, it's a lot easier to have you to have you baboons do everything for me. You're such temple creatures they can't even comprehend a betrayal. Suddenly he's about to step a needle around Goku's neck. Until suddenly, Kaba would break down the door, punching Frost in the face using Super Saiyan. And then, we actually ended up having Broly appear by Frost, he came the back, and just right through the ship. Broly then looked at Kaba and Goku, jumping farther into the ship, to the point where they closed the, closed the door and the seals no longer breached. Only Broly had yelled that Frost was betraying them. Before anyone could think what happened, they see giant Kilos flying towards them, and Broly opens the door, finding Kilos black, holding off Frost's attack. She shifts the gate again once Frost disperses his attack, saying, See, betrayal. <laughs> That's what happened. That's when they said that Goku like, caught, caught his betrayal and confronted him about it, and now this is happening. Now with that, every single person on the Frost on Frost ship is like going out, with, like just ready to rally against until Frost's bodyguards being attacking Goku and Broly and Kaba. But Goku, Goku would break out of Broly's grip before kicking one of the guards in the neck so hard that it kills them. Kaba would just shoot kill last one of their chests. Now that they could go farther into the ship, and then they eventually are able to use pods until everyone just to escape, just go on and get pods, fly off. Goku, Goku, Kaba, and Broly both, both get into, like, just, I guess, a, I guess suits. They can breathe in space, but it reveals they're, they're basically in their hands so they can shoot key blasts. This, they begin fighting off key blasts rapidly, all over at, at basically just Frost. They even went Super Saiyan and begin fighting Frost. So, yeah. But eventually with this, well, Goku would eventually... Well, they still, at least, like, all three of them still lose... But, uh, yeah. So, with all three of them still losing, well, they eventually are, are kind of just sent, like, sent to King Sadala's, and they basically told that they're traitors. 
Well, he tells his father, no, we're not traitors. We caught him on his, on his betrayal, and he tried to kill us. The king does actually, doesn't know how strong Frost is, and is actually kind of nervous, nervous to actually confront him. But does actually, actually mumble uh, enough, like, Goku and Broly and Kao to hear the fact that they trained their body at his peak, and they can hear this, actually. He says, don't worry, you'll be out soon. That they just smirk as they're brought into cells and locked in there. There's time Goku Kaba, Goku Kaba being like training under, under both instruction to, to unlock Ikari. It's more or less just about, about, about like, just mentally training yourself, not physically training yourself. So they finish the training, eventually they're able to all go Ikari, and this is Goku actually, Goku and Kaba and helping Broly control and learn Super Saiyan. It's based off rage, but once you learn, 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 to, learn to contain this rage, it'll be, it'll be just as easy as staying, staying just in your normal form. Broly eventually goes Super Saiyan, and well, now they have to learn to mix in Nakari with Super Saiyan. They've been doing this as much as like it's supposed to be a much darker, darker shade of, of blonde in their hair now. So, yeah. Oh, pause. So, Goku and um, well, they learn they learn to mix in Nakari with Super Saiyan. And eventually, when they do this, they also have to large key cures that they basically destroy their cells and will portion the ship. They're able to basically just use their durable bodies to fly through, well, the, I guess, the vacuum in space. And they're able to hold their breath to the point where they punch through part of Frost's ship where he is. And well, Broly's going to punch through it first, so when Broly punches through it, he hit Frost right in the face. With Frost being turned up the vacuum in space, Goku actually then yelled using a tech by the name of Kamehameha. He made this up on his own, doesn't even know about, about Roshi, so, yeah. They use Kamehameha to his full ability, and Will's is flying the shrug directly towards Frost. But he's basically used up all his oxygen, oxygen to use this, and then she passed out. Well, then just get grabbed by, by Broly and Kaba, and brought into the ship, and they get put in those suits again. They'd be fighting against Frost one more time, and eventually they see the king of Staller right in front of them, for nailing, nailing one of them right in the gut. Not one of them, but nailing Frost right in the gut, so hard that it sent Frost through the air. So Frost being, being sent flying through the air by the king of Staller, he actually was on the ship sneakily, and put on a suit. So with this, Go Go Goku kind of just flew off next to him and all with Broly and Kaba right behind him. And under Goku's orders with him helping them, they were able to use a the strategy that actually was able to defeat the Frost. But suddenly Goku's hit in the back, Kara don't actually will almost have his spine break. But the things to the suit, his spine didn't break, all it just hurts. But suddenly he grabbed grab on Broly, and she told Broly, use it. This made Broly a bit anxious. But Broly would basically just go all out using everyone's power he has. But also, well, letting go of his control. Now with this, Broly will for the time properly enter a full power legendary Super Saiyan. And when he does this, well, he attacks Frost and and hit. So when he gets hit, he actually wouldn't expect this much power coming from anyone. Actually just be grabbed, just right, just kind of right by the face and thrown through the vacuum of space into Frost. Only get nailed right in the gut by Kaba, because I'm flying on, onto a planet, and they all fly down there with the King Stalla right behind them. But the King is actually only, only able to have Broly as a son of King and beat Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So uh, the King basically appeared right in front of Frost, and, and he is able to get up, only nail, nail Frost right in the gut so hard that Frost just passes out, officially. Then Broly, Broly would end up grabbing Hit, throwing him around like a ragdoll. Now if you guys are wondering why he's why Hit's here, Hit with Goku and Broly and Kaba around, not... Frost, Frost with Goku, Broly, and Kaba around, just thinking of them as a threat. So basically having hit around as a bodyguard in case they come back. Because he does know that they're really strong, he can beat any of his guards, just not hit. And it'd be too much of a, of a, too much of a, waste, of time, a waste of time to lift it up, lift up his lift, 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 lift finger himself. So Hit's kind of a run for that. But Hit doesn't like disrespect Broly, and actually had to get used to using to seeing someone so strong. And we got used to it, well, Goku actually began helping, helping, well, Broly... Actually advancing his power, mixing into Ikari with a new form he had unlocked, being Super Saiyan 2. Now, this wasn't as strong as the Super Saiyan Broly, but still, he was actually able to interfere with the time skip by firing a key blast into it and hitting Hit right in the face. Knocking Hit out of the time skip, and then Broly's power rate kept rising and rising. He leaves Hit, Hit, he hit, Hit hard enough to knock him out. With his force, Hit's knocked out, and then they walk over Frost before killing him. Tell me this he kind of just like kind of just spears Frost just right through the chest. So yeah, once Frost is dead, well, um, yeah, that kind of ends it. Frost, Frost is dead. We now move on to this point, to the point of the Universe X tournament. 
going to this where we see where we see Kale Khalifa. Uh, um, this one it's a it's a it's a male Chichi and a male Bulma. Because well, despite Kali, despite Kale not being a um, well she's still saying so Vegeta actually ended up marrying her. Khalifa had married had married male Chichi, and male Bulma was honestly just there. But Mel Boma was actually actually a bit more interested in battle from Kanako Boma. I guess like Boma didn't understand saying this much. I guess Kanako human female Boma didn't, but then this I guess this more of a this more uh, how do I phrase it? Hmm. This version she I don't even think it needs to be a male Boma, just from like some fan fictions I've read, I think think like from fan fictions they think that male Boma not male. Yeah, male Boma would have been more interested in fighting, or just interested in just the science a bit more of their psychology of fighting. So for the same thing, I'm using that. But that's kind of how this Boma is. He, he he's a bit more into like fighting, and she does understand of it. But he actually has like the power of I'd say like the canonical. He's like he's like, he's like, he's like matching Tien roughly. See, so yeah, male Boma, male Boma's there. But so is male Chichi, and then male Chichi is also interested in fighting too. But still, just care about Gohan's education. But this Gohan, well, people that are fed there that are there is honestly just well. There's no difference. Only that Monaka is replaced by Gohan, but everyone's watching is like male Bulma, male Chi Chi, yeah. But the tournament, it's fighters number six would be basically the same. It's just Goku and Broly are there, so. Well, let's finish the same, but Goku is replacing, he's replacing Botamo, and then Automageddo is replaced by, by Broly. The first fight is basically just Goku versus Khalifa, but then he Super Saiyan 2 Akari, which actually does catch her off guard. Actually allows him to kind of nail her right in the face, and it does not just knock her to the ground. Once, when she's knocked to the ground, he kind of spins spinning around like a ragdoll and a toy, and then throws her into the stands. But she wants to get, catch herself flying at Goku full speed, as they both lock hands. Khalifa asks Goku what kind of Super Saiyan this is. I think Goku's suddenly actually being expanding. His muscle mass can be an expanding. It's only been a few months since the events of Goku killing Frost. But once his body comes through muscle mass and just size, well, also he kind of got a red tint around his eyes and his hair turned completely black. Kind of like a red eyeliner. That Goku, Goku's body, well, once it expanded in body muscle mass, he began spinning around. Actually, well, his power began kind of matching, not Super Saiyan God, but like Super Saiyan 3. Around there. And like, imagine Super Saiyan 3 Kyle can times 5. That's roughly what the multiplier of this is. Like, the 5,000 is like the multiplier for this. But you've been spinning around, around, around Khalifa until she slammed her, her back right into the edge of the ring and sent her flying to the air so she kicked her right in the gut. But suddenly she's in, she's in Super Saiyan Blue, knocking out Goku. Which is really impressed how strong he is. And so you go on to the, final, to the next fight that would be important would be, would be basically just this Admageddo versus. Not Automageta, it'd be Broly replacing Automageta versus Vegeta. So this fight goes on, and well, Broly honestly just went all out, not even holding out any stops, actually defeated Vegeta. But he said Kyoko hit like a rampage throwing around Vegeta. But eventually, Khalifa went in and so lost to Broly. But eventually, we see Beerus just jump in and just punch, punch Broly in the gut and knock him out. Actually, ask what kind of monster this is. But doesn't, doesn't like Chompa's like, I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. So, yeah. Because Kale hasn't ever reached that point. She has always been kept under control and kept cool. Well, even on Namek, it was, it was, it was, it was like, it was Kale that died. Kale and Vegeta both died on Namek. So, Khalifa and Super Saiyan over that. Kale and then never went Berserker. There's no reason for her to go Berserker. So, yeah, like, like at the most, when she goes, when she goes Berserker is probably against, like, Beerus. But, but if Beerus is her key rising, he just knocks her out. So, that's all that would happen. But I think I think I think, I think Weiss would know, and that's probably about it. But Weiss kind of mentioned that Kel, Kel has that form. But they they they've never had to see it awaken. But eventually, the next fight would be it would be Broly versus Kale, and we get to see Kale's Berserker form, only to lo only for her to lose even more horribly than everyone else. But yeah, eventually, Universe Seven still does win. The fact that Gohan was actually able to beat Hit with his ultimate form that is actually a lot stronger. So yeah, now at this moment, the tournament power, nothing else interesting would happen. And the tournament power honestly just ends with Khalifa uses the Ultra Instinct, not Goku. 
Honestly, with Goku being born in Universe 7, not Universe 7, Universe 6, I think of him as a much more of a boring character. Like, he'd be a lot younger, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have, have as much experience, and we don't know much about Universe 7, about Universe 6, so there wouldn't be any interesting people they can, he can run into. Yeah, they run into the Namekians, and they train the Namek, but that's about it. All the interesting would, would be Hit, Free, not Freeza, Hit, Frost, and Namekians. So that is it. And still, we don't know that much about them. So... We have Goku starting a rebellion against Frost and killing him. Mainly the King and Broly beating him down, but then, then Goku killed him when, once he was too weak to fight back. And Goku kind of unlocked a new form that's basically Super Saiyan 4, but you don't turn in, you don't kind of grow ape fur. You honestly just get, like, in... You get, like, you get, like muscle mass and height increase, but no fur or tail. That's really just it. Like, I mean, I mentioned Super Saiyan 4 with no tail or fur, and that's kind of, kind of, what, kind of what Goku's other form is. But, uh, yeah, it kind of ends as what if. There's no frost or anything, so if you guys enjoyed, like, and subscribe for more. Adios.